Well, thank you very much. What fantastic insights we had from Gregor there, who was telling us all about the different ideas, the deposit return system, uh, improving so many different ways that we can look at sustainability, recycling, upcycling, really, really fascinating stuff. So again, a big thanks to Gregor. Now, please join me in welcoming our next esteemed speaker, Virginia Muriel, Sustainability Manager at Garcia Carrion. Virginia is going to share insights into how Garcia Carrion integrates connected packaging, technologies that they're using, everything around enhancing their sustainability efforts to improve supply chain visibility and engage consumers in environmentally conscious practices. Thank you so much, Virginia, for being with us today. Thank you. How are you? Hi, hi to everyone. Good morning. I'm really good and really happy to be here with all of you. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, I don't know whether you have a, a fact, an interesting fact that you could share with us to share with the audience that maybe not a lot of people know about you. Okay. <laughs> so maybe what guys tell about me. So when I'm not working in sustainability, who is my patient, I'm traveling or doing yoga. So most of the time. <laughs> Very good. Very flexible then. <laughs> Thank you, Virginia. Um, I'm going to hand to you the stage. I think you have some slides that you want to share with us and then we can come back and dive into some QA. Okay, perfect. That sounds great. So I just, can you confirm me this? Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. So thank you for the presentation. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to talk about our strategy and how are we working with a um, circular economy, eco design and packaging. And on behalf of Garcia, family, uh, Garcia Carrion family, thank you for inviting us to this seminary. So I would like to start introducing our company, Garcia Carrion Company. This is a family-owned Spanish company, 130 years old. So the great grandfather for our president, Don Jose Garcia Carrion, founded this company in Jumilla. This Jumilla is a small town in the south of Spain. On the, they were working always in the wine sector. So it started as a small company. And now we have 12 appellations of origin, really in well-known, such as uh, Toro, Rueda, Rioja, and sugar that you have to drink all of our wines. So I'm talking a little bit about our history. In the 80s, Don Simon Brand was born. This brand was born with a really innovation idea. Don Jose Garcia Carrion thought this could be a really um, innovative and creative to pack wine in a car box, in a brick. So that was the first time in the history that uh, somebody put wine not in a glass, so they moved to a cardboard. Uh, they was using glasses, but also this brick packaging. So, and they create this uh, worldwide brand Don Simon and now Don Simon is our umbrella brand um, and we use it not just for wine we use it to to produce juices lemonade gazpacho salmorejo and many different products as you can see in the picture also vegetable drinks so um, this brand is a in the um, half of the Spanish houses and probably in more than 100, 150 countries where we sell it and we export our products. So I will explain a little bit our uh, indicator, how we, how we are now. So uh, thinking that this company is 130 years old, now we have a turnover of 1 billion euros, half is from juices and when we talk about juices it's not just juice the juice that we produce is also gazpacho salmorejo vegetable drinks lemonade everything who has not alcohol we can serve and the 50 of this uh, revenue is from the from the wine we produce also cava in in catalonia we have a 13 production center five plant eight wineries 
all the production is in Spain, so we export in and we are present in the five continent in 150 countries, but all the production is local. So we are located in Spain as a Spanish company with a, a lot of innovation and technology in all the plants. And we have in total 83 production line, packaging production line. We have our own land. Uh, we have our own wineries and plant tree, but also we have a long-term agreement with local farmers. We're working with, with more than 40,000 local farmers all in Spain. So all the, the juices and wine and products that we produce is not just the plant is in Spain. Also the, the material that we use is from is a Spanish material. So it's com coming from the local farming and also trying to potentiate and to produce these uh, Spanish products. So um, we can say also that we produce annually 1 billion liter. And as I say, we are present in the five continent. So for Garcia Carrion, being a, an, a company that has always been commitment with the planet, and we, we are aware of the impact that our activity generate in all the places where we operate is really important for us. So we have developed a 360 sustainability strategy. And this strategy uh, cross the entire uh, value chain and is in all the business. It's not just in one department, especially in my department as sustainability manager. This, uh, for us, the sustainability have to be in all department of the um, of the company to make a change and to change things and to create a better future for us, for all of us and from the planet. So we also have aligned this strategy with the um, European Union strategy from fund to folk and with the sustainable development goal from the United Nations. This strategy is divided in three. So how we combine the climate change, how we work in bioeconomy and circular economy, and our social commitment, which is really important. So we will see through this presentation uh, how we are working, but just uh, I can tell a little bit about this, how we are potential using the renewable energy. So to have a cell consumption energy, we have uh, last year we started a really huge project uh, when we build a, in nine of our 13 production center photovoltaic kit part. So we create a photovoltaic kit part to use solar energy to, pro to produce our products. We are always a uh, trying to reduce the water consumption and reuse this water in our plant. So we are, as I say, located in Spain and we all know that we have a water crisis and because of the clim climate change, the temperature are increasing, there are some water restriction during the summer. And so we are aware of that and we always have planned to reduce and every year we have target to reduce the water, always working and promoting sustainable logistic and our biodiversity. In circular economy, we have the Cypress Zero project in Huelva, who I will uh, talk about later. Packaging, how we are using packaging and eco design and connected our consumer using intelligent packaging and using this platform to, to teach how are we working in sustainability and how important it is for us to take care of the planet and the social commitment that we have with the agriculture and the worker who they are all part of the big family, Garcia Carrion family. This is our objective and the, the roadmap, the decarbonization roadmap that we have. So by the end of the 2022, we ended the, the year using the 100% of the electricity in all the plant and winery coming from renewable resources. And also the 60% of the total energy was produced by bioenergy and 
the elective power. So that means that every year we are increasing this percentage. By the 2025, uh, we are we are continuing working to to reduce the carbon footprint, especially in scope one and two. Is the idea is to reduce in 50 percent, and how we are gonna do this is implemented more solar plant using biomass, producing biogas, having this self-consumption energy and not using the uh, not buying energy, so being like auto efficiency in this point, and to have the 70% of the total energy coming from renewable resources. So we have a long way to work to be carbon neutral by 2040. So that is something that we are working and that we are really aware of that and all our focus is in this in this way. So you will see in the probably in the coming year how Garcia Carrion are improving and doing more and more to be carbon neutral through the whole value chain. And let me present uh, our Huelva project. This is a as, as you can see in the picture, this is our plant in Huelva. For the people who don't know where is Huelva, Huelva is in the south of Spain, in Andalusia, close to Portugal, close to the border with Portugal. This is a, our, our Huelva plant, Don Simon. And as you can see in the picture, Huelva is surrounded a million of orange trees. So here we produce the fresh juice under the brand Don Simon. So we, we grow our orange. So we take from the tree, we squeeze it and pack it for you, fresh, without additive, a fresh product, not being freezing, not without having any process. So Huelva is a, our main economy, a circular economy project. We, we have it in Huelva. This plan was designed in the triple zero project. That's how we call it. And wh why we call it triple zero project? Because it's zero waste, zero net water consumption, and zero pollution emission. And how we can do it? That thinking that we, we can, we have a capacity of process 400,000 tons on orange per year. How, how we can be zero waste. So that is, I mean, it's easy to explain, difficult to, to do it, but uh, we did it in this project. So imagine when you squeeze an orange at your home or as we did it in our plant. So half, when you squeeze the orange, half is gonna be the juice and the rest, the other half, it's gonna be the orange peel. So imagine that we have 200,000 tons orange peel per year. So what we did with this is first, uh, we create a program to have a, with this byproduct to create valued added products such as extracting essential oil, the limonen as a sample that is used in the cosmetic industry, alcohol industry, or a chemi chemical industry. So we sell it to them. We also have uh, another plant uh, close to this Huelva plant uh, where we produce pellet for feeding animals. You know that the orange peel has a lot of fiber content. So these fibers is a really good food for the animal. So we dry the, all the orange peel and we create this pellet to feed the animals. And with the rest, we have a biomass installation and we create power to the plant. So at the end, we use all the waste so there is not organic waste in Huelva. And also we did something similar with the water. So all the water that is used in the plant for cleaning and everything after a, a treatment, we use it to irrigate all the orange tree that is surrounded this Huelva plant. So this is a, how we can have a zero water consumption. And also the, about talking about the CO2 emission and the, pollu the pollution, I was explaining that Huelva is surrounded millions of trees. And that means that this street 
are responsible to feed the CO2 emission. So we are reducing the CO2 emission and compensating, offsetting all the all this emission to have this super nice and round uh, zero waste, a uh, zero water consumption and zero pollution emission in Huelva. So Huelva was always used as a pilot project. And now how is Garcia Carrion working is, so we test it in Huelva, we see this work and we are keep working and implementation this type of circular economy project in all our plant and, and wineries in Spain. So this is an example just to, that we were talking about how we, we create the added values product. So these two products, Capricho de Fala, Fala is the name of a Fala Corujo, our vice president, the wife the, is the wife of Don Jose Garcia Carrion. So we create a perfume with a, the orange peel. You can buy it in our um, website, in our e-market, you can find it. It's not. And also the cream face that we produce with the um, grape skin. So probably you know that the, the grape had a, a lot of, of resveratrol. This is a natural compound, a really antioxidant compound. So we create this facial cream with resveratrol with the grape skin of the, um, when after this, this waste, that's supposed to be a waste after the wine production. And I was mentioned, so that is how the, how the pellet look like to feed the animal is this small brown pieces. So after uh, we process the orange peel, we have these brown pieces to feed the animal and to, to give it to the animal industry. So and let's talk about packaging. This is the, the most important thing for today, I think, packaging and connecting packaging. So the commitment that we have with ecodesign, as we were, as I was mentioned, Garcia Carrion is want to take care of the planet and also give to the consumer the better packaging, working in circular economy. So we are committed with ecodesign. For us, ecodesign is an essential tool to reduce packaging waste. So we are focused in the use of of plant-based material to use material that come from renewable sources because they can help us to, to reduce the carbon footprint of our products. And also we are always promoting recyclability, changing material, changing packaging material that are more recyclable. So, and be aware of all the packaging that we put into the market and how we, um, give advice to our consumer of how they can recycle all this material. Here you will find a, some sample. So for example, in the glass bottle, we reduce the weight of the glass bottle from cava and wine. Our cava bottle are 12% lighter than it was at the beginning and is one of the lightest Cava bottle of the market worldwide, and also our our wine glass bottle, we reduces the weight around five percent. And when you reduce the weight, you reduce the carbon footprint because this, if you do a um, light circle analysis, is always better for the the impact that you're gonna have when you have less less waste. Also, another sample that I can mention today that we have PET bottle with 100% RPT, recycling PET content. For example, the La Huerta Don Simon, where we packed our fresh juice. And we also changed the cup. We changed the cup. So, two years ago, with cup with color. Now we have translucent cup, which even easier to recycle. And also the, the label that we are using is a washable label. So that means when you recycle this bottle, the label and the bottle, it's gonna separate in an easiest way. 
in our carton. Uh, now we have 60% of the content come from plant orange and they are all FSC certificated, all the, the carton that we are using or the brick. And also uh, the, in the secondary packaging, we are using 50% of the package of the plastic packaging that we are using to pack cans and small bottle at 50% of a recyclable content. So Garcia Carrion is always working to increase the amount of recycling material that we are using in our packages always when it's possible. So in secondary packaging is easier than in the in the primary packaging, but even so the idea is always to reduce the use of virgin plastic, changing the um, to renewable resources or increasing the recycled content, plastic contest that's, that we have. And I will present today a, a really nice, a challenging innovation that we launched to the markets uh, by the end of last year is in the Spanish market and also in many different countries because I was mentioning we are in 150 different countries. So this was a really challenging project because we wanted to uh, pack our uh, vegetable drink in a more sustainable packaging. So you are you know that all this cardboard have um, Allium layer. So we wanted to have a packaging with allium to reduce the, the, the footprint, to reduce and be more, um, or even be more easy to recyclable. So when you have a, I mean, if you don't have the aluminium layer, you can separate the carton and the polyolefins or the plastic material. And without this, Alu is easy to find a second life from, from this type of product. So we thought, okay, we have the best product. Let's try to find the best packaging. So we developed this project with Elopac, our supplier and a really good partner for us. And they propose after a lot of trial and years of uh, doing R&D, because it sounds easy to to take out the alu, but but in easing. So they say, okay, let's try and do this uh, pack to have these vegetable drinks in a septic packaging without alu. So how we how we did it? How how was that? So we simplified the material. As you can see in the right part of the um, of the presentation, this brick cardboard is um, made of different uh, layers. Says the 64% of the cardboard of this packaging is carton, 4% is aluminum, and 32% are polymers. So we take out the aluminum, this 4%, we increase the carton in a 70%, and we change the polymers. We use a polymer who had a, a high barrier and they come from the same family. So we are not uh, using different type of polymers. They are all polyolefins from the same family to be able to recycle, to be able to, at the end, to have a pro proper recycling process of this package, who was really important. So with this, Simplify this structure, we reduce the CO2 emission, we generate less waste. So we are contribute to reduce the impact that we generate when we put into the market this, this material. So our clients, when they when they choose to buy our products, our uh, vegetable drink products, they are reducing and neutralizing CO2 emission. So that is our most eco-friendly packaging launch that we will launch it uh, last year to the market. And we didn't want it to 
stay here in this, okay, we have the best product in our recyclable packaging. So we did a lot of innovation, but we wanted to have as our strategy, a 360 experience with the consumer. So we developed with uh, together with Appetite Creative who are hosting this really nice seminar, a mobile app to uh, teach our clients uh, how Garcia Carrion is taking care of you. So how we can put uh, into the market the best products, talking about just the drink, and how we take care of the planet. So uh, scanning a QR who is in the in the package, you you go to this application, to the mobile application where you can in a funny way, learn about circular economy, sustainability, our strategy, and also you can get, um, there's a game and you will have a lot of uh, points and you will win some really nice products related with how we are, com how is our commitment to, to take care about the planet. And Today also I will talk about our new release. This is you will find it thus in the supermarket from Gazpacho and Salmorejo. Gazpacho and Salmorejo are this really nice uh, cold soup that we drink in Spain. We launch this Gazpacho and Salmorejo uh, in a cardboard with olio as well. So this is our new lunch, having even given always new step to have this uh, sustainable packaging who, who are, we are really interested to find and to create. So I would like to thank you all of you for joining us in this, in this way to, to achieve our 3 cc sustainability. And I hope you like the, the presentation and I will be here to answer all your, the questions that you will have today. Thank you so much, Virginia. A fantastic presentation. And, uh, you know, I think it's really interesting, the whole story, actually, where you talk even about the waste being turned into, you know, fragrance being turned into other types of biomaterial food uh, for animals, for example. So really, really, really interesting. Of course, I love the connected experience. That's uh, obviously my, my favourite part um, of, the, of the presentation. But, you know, joking aside, um, you know, what was it that made you think that there would be some, some, some fantastic benefits from using the connected packaging to talk about this new initiative, this new packet? Okay, this is a really good question, Jenny. And I mean, for us, so we can use packaging to get to the consumer. So to give them information. Uh, right now, sustainability is fashion. Everything is sustainable. Everything is, so there is so many information on the internet mm -hmm. that sometimes I always say that there is a eco confusion. So people get really confused. They don't understand yeah. at the end. So they, they don't know where they are buying, I mean, they know. So there are a lot of consumers that are aware, but talking in general. So for us, uh, using connective packaging, we can give information about how we, co how we are producing, how locally we are producing, how our, is our process, how is our packaging. So they can be more informed. And when yeah. they go to the supermarket, they can do informed purchase decision. Yeah. who is really important for us. So for us, it's a tool, really necessary tool to get to the consumer and to be there and helping them to just to give information and the, the consumer can their own choice to buy a brand or, a, or other brands, but it's facilitating all this thing about all this practice, about circular economy. Yeah. Yeah, and also thinking after COVID, I mean, we are in a, a technology world for sure, but after the COVID crisis of the pandemic, I think people use more all this app and scan. Yeah. I mean, even when you go to a restaurant, you scan the QR to see the menu and to do your choice. So yeah. 
at the end, a pack, uh, so the packaging, you cannot put all the information that you want because you have to create the nutrition information, all yeah. this legal part. So it's a really uh, interesting way to give them more information and does they make their own choices with the decision of buying. Yeah, absolutely. Or potentially you're talking about um, scanning and learning their, and influences their purchase decision, but also they might buy it without knowing, scan at home, and then that helped them actually to understand. The of course. As well. So there's, well. there's two, two, different, two different areas there. I love it. Um, there's got, we've got lots of questions from the audience. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to try and quickly get through them as we're, we're already running out of time, but it's good. The, the first quick one maybe is what is the shelf life of the new packaging without aluminium? Okay, yeah. I mean, this is a, I, I forget to mention at the beginning of the, the presentation. So before we change the, um, the, the packaging, so when we had the alu, it was 12 months and we reduce it to the half, six months. But that was at the beginning. Now we are doing internally some a uh, safe light um, test and probably we are gonna extend it even more. So, but for now there's six, we can say six, we reduce to the half, but there wasn't a problem to the retail or even to the consumer yeah. because who is great, because that's mean that's people are buying our products and they're rotated in the supermarket. So yeah, yeah no, exactly. It's, you know, you wouldn't expect, I don't think to keep um, product longer than that. Um, mm. Another quick, well, is it a quick question? I'm not sure. The bottle says a hundred percent recycled PET, but actually I thought there was always a virgin plastic layer on the inside where the plastic would come in contact with the food. Is that the case? No, it's not the case. I mean, let I, I will try to do it shorter. So PT is the only material approved to be in contact with the food after a recycling process. Okay. That means that if you have a P polyethylene bottle, you cannot put recy recycled PET in direct contact with the products. But with PET and our bottle are from PET, you can use 100% PET bottle. I mean, and we are not the only brand or the only company mm -hmm. in the industry who is using PET. So if a person see 100% PET, it's going to be 100% PET. You cannot do it with other pack plastic packaging. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. Another quick question from Diadem from the audience. Thanks for the great presentation, Virginia. The zero net water consumption approach sounds promising for sustainable water management. However, I'm curious as to the implementation. Are there any potential issues related to the nutrient recycling and management when using treated wastewater for irrigation? Does the plant ensure that the recycled water provides the necessary nutrients for the orange trees without causing imbalances or deficiencies in nutrient intake? Okay, perfect. So because of the time, I didn't have the time of the presentation and the scope. I didn't have the time to explain how we did it because it sounds really easy. So we use water, we irrigate. Yeah. But there's a lot of R&D behind this uh, behind this all, all this implementation. So uh, we changed all the cleaning products of the water in the plant. We you used to use sodium, who you cannot irrigate the tree because after five years, you don't wanna have a tree or land or nothing. <laughs> so yeah. you're gonna kill all your tree. So, and we discovered that we could use potassium instead of sodium and also potassium is an essential nut nutrient for the tree. So we change the, um, the, this chemical product that we, you need to clean the plant. Sodium, we used to use sodium, we change to pota potassium. And also we added some nutrient to this water, to the water that we use in the plant. And after this treatment process, process we can irrigate the trees and we give water and nutrients. And this means that also we reduce the amount of fertilizers, even we didn't use chemical fertilizers, but we reduce the amount of fertilizers that we use in our trees. Great. 
So no, it doesn't affect the trees. So no, not at all. It gives, they, we give them uh, more food with this water yeah. or more nutrients. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that has been really fantastic. We've overrun, but I think there were some great questions and I love the presentation. So thank you so much, Virginia, for being with us. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. you. Bye. Bye-bye. So don't go away. We've just had a fantastic, fantastic insight into the sustainable uh, insights for Garcia Carrion. And in 60 seconds, not that long away, we will be resuming and I will be talking with Karan Rai and he is Chief Product and Technology Officer at Enna Ventures. And he is going to be talking with me about smart packaging, enhancing authentication, tracking and consumer engagement. See you back in 60.